Without data loss, downgrading iOS 18 to iOS 17 is a big challenge, but that's so easy. Here's how to do it step by step without investing a penny in third-party software. I am Carly, and let's get started and watch the video till the end. You need your Apple ID and password on hand. Also, you have a Mac or PC. Mac users have installed the latest macOS, and Windows users have the latest version of iTunes. During this process, your iPhone will erase completely. So backup is very important for restore after the downgrade is complete. The first step is to download the latest IPSW file for your iPhone model. If you don't know then, you can check under the Settings app, tap on General and About option, and see your iPhone model name and version installed. Now, open Safari on your Mac. Go to IPSW Me website and click on iPhone. Find your iPhone model name and download the latest final iOS 17 version by click on the download button. 6 to 7 GB file takes a few minutes to download until start latest iCloud backup to restore all data on your iPhone after the downgrade is complete. To do that, launch the settings app on your iPhone, tap on your profile name and tap on iCloud. See the Save to iCloud section and tap on See All. Turn on all the options to take backup and sync all data to your iCloud. Like Photos, for Photos, enable Sync This iPhone toggle. Repeat the same for Notes to Sync This iPhone. Same for Messages, Contacts, Reminders, App Data, and Calendar. If you have limited iCloud storage, buy for one month and backup important data in just some amount. 99 cents per month for 50 GB, $2.99 per month for 200 GB, and $9.99 per month for 2 TB. Get storage for thousands of photos, videos, and files. Alternatively, you can take a backup of your iPhone by connecting it to your Mac via USB cable. And unlock your iPhone and trust your iPhone to use on Mac. See your iPhone will appear on the left side of the window. Click on your iPhone name, see the backup section, and choose backup all of the data on your iPhone to this Mac, and click on backup now. This process will take some time depends on the data saved on your iPhone. Now, wait for the IPSW file download ready along with backup your iPhone complete. Once both the processes are complete, you are ready to install the iOS 17 IPSW file on your iPhone. My iPhone backup is completed now. Check under the Manage Backups option and see the latest backup with the date and time. Along with my IPSW file, it is ready and saved under the download folder in Finder. Before the restore process start, Find My must be turned off for your iPhone. To turn off, launch the Settings app and tap on Profile Name. Now, tap on Find My, again tap on Find My iPhone option. Turn off the toggle Find My iPhone. You iPhone will ask to verify with your Apple ID password. Enter the correct password and turn off from top right corner. Once you turn off the Find My, keep your iPhone connected to Mac via USB cable and launch the Finder to see your iPhone. And click on your iPhone name to restore iOS 18. On your Mac, press the Option key and click on the Restore iPhone option. For Windows users, use iTunes to restore iPhone. Rest of the process are same. Use Alt key and click on Restore iPhone option in iTunes Windows PC. Browse the downloaded file under the download folder and click Open. Now see the pop-up that says, Your Mac will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 17.5. 1. And will verify the restore with Apple. Click on the Restore option. Wait for a few minutes until you see the welcome screen on your iPhone. Set up your iPhone like a new, use same Apple ID and password during setup to restore all synced data from iCloud to your iPhone. For now, we can't restore iOS 18 backup saved on your Mac to iOS 17 version. 
keep offline backup or future reference. Use for restore once you update your iPhone to the latest iOS 18 version. Until then, you can use iCloud synced data. Launch the settings app on your iPhone, tap on your profile name, and tap on iCloud. Now see the list of apps using iCloud, like Photos, iCloud Drive, Messages. Ensure that Sync is enabled under the service like Message. Here I am enabling use on this iPhone and Message app start syncing with iCloud. Repeat and check for all apps, like Notes, when I enable the toggle for Notes, sync this iPhone. Notes app syncing and downloading Notes from iCloud. The same happens with the Photos app. Photos app downloads all photos and videos from iCloud. Keep your iPhone connected to power to sync in the background. I hope you get the solution for downgrade iOS without data loss and without third-party software. Don't miss to like this video to support us. Also comment for more help.